Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. I'm just leaving the doctor's office here in Cedar Park, Texas, uh, where I had some minor surgery, so to speak. I'm going to see if I can back up far enough to get out of here. Uh, they didn't really have a spot for a Class C motorhome, I can tell you that. But uh, we, we got in here, and now we got to get out of here. So how did everything go? Don't know. I, I, oh, let me tell you, as you grow older, you better have a sense of humor. Because if you don't, you're going to go out quick. No, man. I mean, the, the scar I had before, I thought it was a big one. Wait till you see this one. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> God almighty. I mean, anyway, enough said about that. The good news is... Uh, Looks like we're done. I mean, I'll have to come back one more time to do some stuff with the stitches and stuff. Oh, good, we got a red light down there. What luck. Oh, hang on, everybody. Those are the kind of bumps that just throw everything around. So anyway, we're in the Class C motorhome. I am cruising down here. This is a North Lake Line drive or something goes out and hits 1431 I'll take a left and go to back to Fishers of Men's Ranch and uh, live happily ever after I hope with that in mind you know, he said don't get the thing wet yet so I can't I'll have to be taking my whores baths again just like I do when I'm camping and if you don't mind I'm gonna have a snack of my stuff that I mixed up to eat after the surgery because I knew I wouldn't be very hungry for a big meal but a snack I do need man what an experience guys but that's life get on get off or get the hell out of the way deal with it but I have to say this and I know I've said it 50 times I've said 51 is uh Driving the Class C works fine for me. It does. Again, this is Cedar Park, Texas, which is about 76 or 77,000 people. It's like a suburb of Austin, Texas, that's all. And you know, I just love traffic, as you know, I love this. But fortunately, we don't have to do it long. We take a left here. I better turn on my blinker. We take a left here. And after about five or six miles, we're pretty well out of the traffic. But everybody's in such a damn hurry. You know what I mean? But of course, that's the way it is in a city. And they're totally... Look at that. Did you see that turn there? Did you like that? I was impressed. Very impressed, actually. done so of the three things that I wanted to get done in the month that I'm here two are pretty much done one getting the right blinker fixed on the class C motorhome that's done check mark done that one get the uh, skin cancer surgery completed Almost, I'll put a half, just a little check, about a little piece in there. We're, 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 we're almost done with that. Then tomorrow, believe it or not, I've got to go for an eye doctor's appointment because I'm getting having cataract surgery done the following week on the 3rd. I'll have the right eye done. But tomorrow I go in for what's called a pre-op and they remeasure the right eye to be damn sure they got the right size lens and all that stuff so for the for this entire month you know I've avoided going to doctors for about 30 years about that and now all of a sudden in one month I will have been to doctor's office about a dozen times so you know payback is what it is The only downside of this road, 1431, right here it's not too bad. Oh crap, there's a policeman right there. 
anyway, the only downside of this road is it's kind of winding through the Texas Hill Country up here. You'll see it, man. Because I'll let it go because I ain't got anything to do and I just want to talk to somebody to, to relieve the, uh, the nervous stress or whatever you want to call it. I'll take a deep breath till I'm about to hyperventilate. This is a good four lane road though, that's good. And uh, But it turns into a two lane in about, oh, I don't know, 15 miles. And then it's, uh, you know, then it's a little different. So, But anyway, what else can I tell you? Uh, other than just uh, uh, trying to stay away from that thing that I just had done, uh, I don't know. I feel good. I'll say that. I don't have it. I mean, I, I got. It. I did my walking at Lowe's this morning. I got got to do that. It looked like it was going to be a little foggy driving over here today, but it turns out it wasn't. And I got there early. And the the, the, the surgeon is a great guy. He's got a sense of humor. And the little girl that works with him is really nice, knows her stuff. You know, it's, it's just a, a very relaxing experience. Or they make it as relaxing as they can, you say that. I mean, you know, there's things that have to be done. You know, they have to put give you a local anesthetic so they can cut a chunk of meat out of you. And those little pin pricks are noticeable. Not bad, though. You, 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 can, you can handle it. I did. But we're right in the heart of the Texas Hill Country, so this is just a pretty drive if I didn't say anything at all. You may get, be getting a little road noise in the phone, but the reason is they did an update on the Pixel phones, or the ones I have, and if you plug in an external mic, the video stops. And you can try to turn on that feature but it won't it won't do it and then if you continue to try it will tell you to do a factory reset on your phone so I don't want to do that on my other phone but anyway having this little snack helps and drink plenty of water Whenever you're stressed out, drink plenty of water. Also, you know, because stress is like, it's like being in shock, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, you, you kind of uh, start to dehydrate. So, anyway, it does help. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah, it's about, I'm not sure about the time. I guess I ought to check. See what I can see here on oh, my every my everything thing called a phone. It's 1156, 47 degrees. The name of this road up here is called Nameless Road. Gasoline is $2.99. They just don't want to say $3. <clears throat> I told that little girl when she was putting the padding on that, uh, what do they call it? Uh, well, scar, whatever the hell it is, the suture, the, well, whatever, the cut. I said, well, pack it in there, you know, pack it good. Because this, I, I won't do anything to this uh, thing until uh, Thursday or Friday. I don't even remove anything. They, it's a, they packed it in there. <clears throat> So, move it. I'm just glad it's outpatient stuff. But what does that have to do with a beautiful drive through the Texas Hill Country? Not a dad gum thing. This town we're coming into now is called Jonestown. Not like Reverend Jones Town, you know. Remember that? Diana or wherever it was. Well, this town is called Jonestown, and every time I hear the name, I think about Reverend Jones. What a horrible thing. I mean, 
mean, this road just snakes right through the Texas Hill Country. I'm not sure what's today, the 25th, I guess, 26th, something like that. Yeah, when I leave here, hopefully the cataract surgery will be all worked out. This will be worked out that I just got done today. Go back to Brackville, and I don't think I'm going to go anywhere for two or three months. I'm just going to sit there and enjoy small town life. We got an old bar here it's been here for years it's called the Lone Star Bar I mean it's been there a long time because I was in there years ago the next town we go through is Lago Vista which in Spanish just means lake view. And then, so, and then, then after that, we've got about 25 miles to the ranch. And my only concern now is being able to find that turn off of that two lane road in time to make it. street right here to the left is called Easy Street. Everybody wants to be on Easy Street, don't they?
on the outskirts of Lago Vista now. Lago Vista. As you go down this road between these little towns, just subdivision after subdivision after subdivision out here in this Texas Hill Country and some of them have their own little water systems well water and then some of them require it some of the homes have their own water well <clears throat> well you know you, you stick enough straws down there in that aquifer and get over a period of years that aquifer will start to go down and that's what's happening now and, and also a lack of uh, rainfall it's a combination of things causing some water issues in these areas and, and all over the U.S. Well, if nothing else, you got to see some pretty country around Austin, Texas. From downtown Austin, we're probably 40 miles, 35 miles from here. But this old road just curves around and curves around. And then a motorhome. You know, this thing doesn't take sharp turns all that well, so you have to kind of be paying attention. They also have, in a few places, or at least coming, coming to the doctor's office, there was some signs that would say, slower traffic must you know, pull over or use this lane. Well, that was great until I found out the lane they wanted you to pull over and use was only about 100 yards long. And once you got over there, the traffic that was behind you would immediately move, move past, and there you were trapped on this little road that was about to end. <laughs> nice prick. It worked one time, but after that it didn't work at all. We'll let this go a minute. I'm just enjoying my snack and chilling out a little bit. I don't know that a local anesthetic does anything to the rest of you, but I have to tell you that local anesthetic worked. I mean, he took off about a pound of skin and I didn't even feel it. lucky on the weather but I was lucky to find a parking spot for the class C at the doctor's office that's for sure because the, the parking spots aren't all that big and there were some other offices in the same area one was an orthodontist and there was another one but I don't know what it was
the good news is, if, if we got it all, or if the surgeon got it all, then I go back uh, probably Thursday or Friday, it'll close it up with some more stitches and stuff, and uh, then let the healing process begin. Because a week after the last surgery, the, the, the thing was healed, or damn close. So I, I have that programmed in my mind, that the good news is every moment that passes, my body is healing itself and I'll be ready to go doing my, well I can walk, that's not a problem, I just can't do my stretches for about eight days, nine days, it'll all work out. Now just, and that, the, the little nurse, bless her heart, hope you watch this video, I can't remember her name, but she was nice enough to give me one or two of those little things that contain, uh, it's like a Vaseline, it's a, that you put on the wound, that's what, that's, that's the word I was looking for, her wound, that you put on the wound, and uh, the Vaseline works, but this stuff they have is much better, I mean, I, I got no infection at all, none. Isn't this a lovely video? There's one of those things right there. It says slow vehicles must turn out. Like in that lane on the right there. Look what it is right here. See that? What the hell is that? No way, baby. I ain't falling for that crap. <laughs> well, you know, you'd think if you got over there and people observed that you were on a short lane, they'd let you move back. Ha, ha, ha. This <laughs> shit. They'll run you right into a little rock.